Stephen Sheftall, Stephen Sheftall, donating time is Matthew Binder, is Matthew in the chamber? Not in the chamber, so Stephen, you have up to three minutes and you're signed up neutral. Thank you, Mayor. Ladies and gentlemen, I stand before you today to address plans for the Austin Police Department to spend up to $600,000 of tax dollars in order to equip themselves with top of the line electro torture devices called tasers. This is the first time I have ever spoken to the council, and fortunately for us all, it will be the last. I intended to stand up here and protest this gross misplacement of funding, but I've changed my mind. The purchase of this equipment sends a clear and unmistakably liberating message, a message I did not and could not believe until recently. That message is that government is no longer or never was based on the consent of the governed or the will of the people, but is instead based on the monopoly of force and the demand that we peons submit to it. I have chosen not to speak to the council previously, despite having attended meetings, because I saw that the voices of protest found only deaf ears and cold shoulders. I've seen the concerns that the people ignored so many times that despite being an Eagle Scout, holding a degree in criminal justice, and wanting my whole life to be in the field of public service in order to protect others, I no longer believe in government, including the constitutional government I swore to uphold and defend when I enlisted in the Army National Guard at 17. When I raised my right hand and swore I do, I thought I was willing to give up everything, up to and including my life, to defend the freedoms that we in this nation so deeply cherish. I must confess now that I am an oath breaker though, and I am deeply ashamed of it. I can no longer uphold and defend the Constitution of the United States because it is already dead. The Bill of Rights are merely hollow words today, ghost of a bygone era when man lived free, or at least more free than he is today. When I look in my rearview mirror these days and see the lights of a police car about to pull me over, I no longer think of it as a mere inconvenience, but a test of survival. A man or woman in all black, with a belt full of weaponry openly displayed, wearing combat boots and sporting a military haircut, approaches my window and tries to find any way possible to get around the Fourth Amendment in order to charge me with something so he or she can keep their job. This is a far cry from the men and women who wore blue and called themselves peace officers, whom are sadly nearing extinction. Today we live in a brave new world where the Constitution receives mere lip service from those who swore to protect it, and it is now relegated to performing the job of toilet paper in the absence of something more useless. I can finally see the truth, and it has indeed set me free. I have you and everyone else in government to thank for it. I do not intend to physically resist you, as violence is the last resort of the stupid and incompetent. Hence, your preferred tool as Nathaniel Sanders learned. I'm a peaceful man, and I believe in a peaceful, compassionate, and prosperous world for us all. I hereby withdraw my consent to be governed by you, and I wish I had never given it away in the first place. May God bless you and forgive you.